Hadrian's Wall, Northern Britain. Stretching from coast to coast, dividing the country in two. This was the hard border that separated Roman Britain from the rebellious Iron Age tribes who roamed the lands to the north. Commissioned by Emperor Hadrian in 122 AD, the vast, heavily fortified wall was completed in just six years. Once operational, 8,000 Roman soldiers manned its defenses, armed and ready to protect the empire's most northerly frontier at whatever cost. Burnswork, a remote outcrop in southern Scotland. In 2015, an archaeological investigation reveals evidence of a 2,000-year-old battle between the Iron Age Britons and the Roman army. Hidden beneath the soil, a vast array of ballistic weaponry. The new discovery shows a very different type of Roman warfare, forgotten by history. Rather than swords and spears, these ballistic artifacts were key to Rome's success on the battlefield. These marks on the landscape below the hill fort are the hallmarks of a vast Roman military camp. Its size reveals that up to 4,000 soldiers took up position beneath the southern slopes, while another 2,000 men were positioned directly behind the fort in a second camp surrounding the ancient settlement. There is some sense of foreboding about this hilltop. So what was going on? Why is this hill fort held in the vice-like grip of these two massive Roman camps? Now, the remains of one heavily corroded projectile unearthed at Burnswark may provide an answer. Originally thought to be the remains of an iron arrowhead, an X-ray scan reveals it was something far more deadly. We can see the point and we can see the socket at the other end where the shaft would have been affixed to it. And inside you can actually see the square section of the tapering point that would be designed to be able to penetrate armor as well as flesh. This precision bolt could only have been fired from a very special piece of tactical artillery. It reveals the Roman army was using the ancient equivalent of an assault rifle. And experts suspect the secret weapon that launched it was the Manu Ballista. But until now, very few fragments of Rome's ultimate killing machine have ever been found. The presence of the lethal bolt tip suggests the Manu Ballista played a key role in the attack on Burnsville. And if historical accounts of other Roman campaigns are to be believed, the local Britons wouldn't have stood a chance.